247 Niger TV. Author C. Clarke, a British science fiction writer, said some time ago that any form of technology that has been sufficiently advanced is indistinguishable from magic. Today, I will be playing host to a group of young Nigerians who have advanced a form of technology and if you ask me, it sounds, looks close to magic. My name is Courage Umbon and I'm very excited to welcome you to this edition of Frontlines, showing on 247 Niger TV. And yes, you guessed right, today our focus is on ICT. I have a group of um, young Nigerians who have joined me presently in the studio to discuss the future of ICT in Nigeria, in Africa. And guess what? They are taking it not just to Africa and Africans, but beyond Africa. Please join me welcome from my far right, Hanson Johnson. Good afternoon. And also welcome Gideon Ewa. Hi everyone. So also to Woodward Essien. Welcome to the program. Hi viewers. Hanson, um, we're going to start from the start. Take us to the start of Start Innovation Hub. The start of Start Innovation Hub, as the name implies start, I really hope it, it do have a start. It's, it came from the inside and we were disturbed for a very long while because we did not have the features, the facilities we needed to make visible what we had been disturbing us from inside. But sometime last year, around May, we had to take a bold step to the Corporate Affairs Commission for the bigger part of being known by the Nigerian ecosystem. And uh, from there, we had to take another journey down to you um, sometime around August and um, have a place, a physical place. So Start Innovation Hub is a co-working space for tech entrepreneurs with software ideas. Gideon, you, 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 you've worked with Start Innovation Hub now for a while. How would you say it, how easy would you say it is to run an ICT-based venture in Nigeria? Okay, the, import, the most important part is mentorship. Mentorship. Mentorship, yeah. Mm. Because uh, people work in there with ideas. There are crazy ideas out there but they don't have people to mentor them. But coming to start Innovation Hub, you will, they will streamline your ideas and then provide you with the necessary mentorship and then tell you what you really need to get your ideas out there. Okay, and um, Udwak, you, you've, you've worked for a while now. As, as a developer, would you say the society, the Nigerian society has space for you? Because you, you go out there and you find people doing things that are really tangible. The idea of ICT, and um, say coding and innovations like this, it's really strange to the Nigerian market. So how receptive are people to your ideas? Well, uh, what I would say is one feature about human beings is adaptation. Mm. Uh, uh, develop, uh, developed countries have this already going on and we are picking up, I, I believe Nigeria is one of the fast growing countries in Africa when it comes to developing countries. And we are, in terms of ICT, we are growing very fast. So I believe they, they has a lot of innovations in ICT. And these people need things to spur them up and ideas. And the ideas is that something like startup innovation has really uh, made a very good ground for startups in Uyo in particular, as well as people who wants to come far and near to come and join. So I believe the Nigerian community uh, is embracing ideas, developers like us, and we are ready to put up great ideas out there that will make these things ready for them. So as they are advancing to make the, the ICT ideas, the things are already there, so they just put them to use. Hanson Johnson, some time ago, NASA put up an advertisement um, indicating that young developers should form teams and then um, Create, um, I think they had a um, need that they needed to be met, and you stood, uh, stood up to that challenge, formed the team, and then um, went on to win second position nationally at, um, at the competition. So, I wanted to take us through the journey now. How easy was it for you to gather young Nigerians, and how easy was it for you to build that teamwork, that synergy to go on, you know, to be an award winning team? Okay. Um, I want to start by saying the NASA competition, the NASA contest was opportunity meeting preparation. Mm. 
we, 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 we at the hub, we were just doing our thing. <coughs> we were learning, sharing ideas, co-thinking, co co-creating and co-working in the space that um, we have there. And so we had a call from a friend that um, something is coming up from NASA. We had to go read about NASA. We saw the challenges they listed on their website. And they encouraged um, entrepreneurs, developers from all over the world to come up with solutions and they have price tags. So I called my people. This is worth trying. So we did our abilities. And um, a day to that, to that contest, we were not sure we are, we are going. You were not sure you, you, were not you, sure. you did not have the app ready or you did not no, have... No, no. You were supposed to build... Okay, to build the 48 hours. Yes. Okay. It, it was a 48 hour hackathon. Mm. So you were supposed to stay there and be design there, mm. meet people there, form your team there and mm. start work together within 48 hours. So this team was not, this team was not um, formed... No. We, were, we were different. We were working on our different things. Okay. But as far as that contest was concerned, mm. <laughs> it was in that venue that you got yeah, formed, yeah, formed it. It. and one person that's not from the hub joined mm, us so we started the design that i can remember that first day <laughs> how it was we had to crash models upon models until we were able to um, um agree upon one thing and we, we were lucky to be able to come up with something within, within 48 hours mm. and i don't want to say we were surprised we, we won the first position at the regional level at Calabar mm. and um, we were flown to Lagos for the finals the next day and in Lagos we were not surprised that we were also coming up second and the joy behind this is not coming up second but grooming people that were not developers mm. between October to win a national award April grooming people that were not developers um, between entry October level, to entry level people, people between October 2014 mm. and March 2015. Who did the grooming? You did? I did the gr grooming with support from Google. From Google. Yep. Wonderful. Gideon, I wanted to capture the feeling, I want you to capture the feeling that moment when the announcement was made. Let's start from Calabar, that you are the winner for the regionals. I want you to capture that feeling for me. Okay. We were, we, I, won't, I won't say we were surprised because the, you did, product, you the, product, it? the product we had on ground was top notch mm. because we listened to other people pitching their ideas and we saw, we knew, we knew within us that we were gonna make it. And um, I'm, I'm from Calabar, the team in Calabar too. They all came together, different ideas, pitched. people did things on robotics, crazy challenges. And um, if I give you the real story behind the uh, the announcements, I think you'll be wild. Oh, there's a real story? Yeah, there's a story. We're gonna look at a real story <laughs> right after this short break. Please stay on with us on Frontline. It's coming you on to Fossil Niger TV. Niger TV. You're welcome back. It's still Frontlines on 247 Niger TV. My name is Courage Mboon. And right here in Frontlines, we still have Hanson Johnson, we still have Gideon Ewa, and we still have Udwak Essien. Thank you, gentlemen, for staying. Before we went on the break, you were about to tell us, you said there was this crazy experience yeah. you had when the, when the prize was supposed to be announced. Yeah. So I wanted to tell us about that experience. Okay. Um, before we pitched, before we pitched, they were like when nine you projects. Pitch, you, you're saying you, you're calling plenty of jargons here. When you say pitch, okay. <laughs> before we presented our product, why, what we had, why? yeah. Say, I, I never <laughs> <been> presenting when <laughs> <means> pitch. <laughs> so I'm pitching right here. No, you're not pitching. You're, not, you're presenting. <laughs> oh, right, right. But before we pitched, we had like nine other teams before us. Mm. So at a point, we felt the judges were getting bored because the same project, crop alert systems and stuff. So we went up there, presented us. Then when it was time for the announcement, I, had, I was having a chat with a colleague, a colleague I met there. I was like, who do you think this challenge is going to do? And we were just discussing. The, the second run up was announced. And to our team gear, that was the name of our team, team gear. Team gear was announced second, and we didn't even know. We didn't know. The announcement was made. There was a pause. I was still having a chat. The moderator now had to come again, like, is there a representative of Team Gear in the house? I was like, Team what? <laughs> <laughs> Say Team Gear. That was, ah, there was this joy within. Mm. We exploded, we shouted, we were happy because it's not easy to be recognized on a national stage like that. And given the fact that we just came into this thing and uh, 
we had just 48 hours to come up with an idea and then a product. Mm. You know, it was that the feeling was the excitement shows in your face. Yeah, like right now, I'm still, I'm still very excited. It's still very yeah, excited, still very especially excited. considering the price money. Uh, yeah. it's, it's not it's not about the price money. But it's it's also a factor. You yeah, it's agree. a factor. <laughs> it's, it's a factor. It's a factor anyway. But mm. the real joy comes from the recognition. Okay. Out there. And I'm the going to ask you. I'm going to ask you work. What are you guys going to do with one thousand five hundred dollars? That's plenty of money. Mm. Well, uh, from... Don't try to be very modest. You're going to do some shopping. No, no, no. no. Uh, aside from the, the shopping thing. But it's, uh, it's going to come in some way the picture. Of course. We're going to have some happy. fun mm. with the money for mm. our stress. Okay. Two days stress. No sleep coding. Our eyes stuck to the uh, screen of our laptops. Uh, we have this thing that has been going on, which has like... It's like a tradition after every competition people drop their idea just enjoy the money and go on we are ready to move take the app to the next stage uh redefine the whole thing and make it even much more better than what we have so it's it's gonna earn money for us mm. so in future we have other investors because the the the, the problem we we solved building that app is it's it's a tangible one it's something that something you look forward to develop yeah more. look forward to develop and make it even much more better so okay. with the fund we have we can put that in the market mm. yes. hanson johnson i want to because i know my viewer would be wondering now what app are they talking about i might have an idea about it but i'm very sure most persons out there don't have ideas about it so i want you to tell us what app did team gear that's what your team is called right yeah. what app did team gear work on Okay, Team Gear came up with an app called Agrocast. 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 Mm. Agrocast. You know, Nigeria, we, in Africa generally, we have data challenges. We've been having um, ideas that we would want to develop, but we don't have access to data. Mm. We want to do something, you don't know how many people are out there that will need it. You don't know how many people are out there that are already using it. You don't know anything. So we had to come with Agrocast to help farmers in Africa crowdsource pest and disease outbreaks. So whenever there's an outbreak in your farm, you take the picture, comment, or write what you need to write. Even even if you don't know the name of the disease or pest, mm. you just take the picture and write the to, symptoms. Exactly, write the symptoms. People are going to rate it, mm. and you send it to the um, through the application to a remote server mm. where we mine the data curated and make it available via a public API for, for other developers. Government. Public A. Public API. What's that? Application programming interface. Mm. So. You know, if you stream, if you if, with your phone, I'm sure you have an, a weather forecast application. Okay. So with this, our app is going to also help other developers develop maybe di out disease or pest outbreak um, forecast. It can help federal go government, not ju just federal government, government agencies and other um, NGOs. Mm. You know, for forecast when an outbreak is um, expected to come, and also look for proactive measures. To preventing that and ensuring food security in Nigeria. Gideon, I'm going to ask you this because most times we find apps in the market and you're like, so, so, sometimes we download most of these apps and we're like, what is the practicality of these apps? Because 99%, not, okay, 99 might be a, a mindless exaggeration, but um, a large percentage of Nigerian farmers are illiterate. So, how do we, how, what is the practicality of this app? How practical is it? How many farmers will be able to? really use the app okay we brought that into consideration when we were when we came up with our model we know of the te technology situation in the country so we adapted our app to cover not just plants the farmers the farmers but animal husbandry those mm. to poultry farming cattle rearing and the rest mm. and it's not all about reporting incidences you can also use it to manage your farm. The app also has other features, and actually, those features too also accounted for the reason we emerged to winners. Because mm. you could take logs of your farm, you can have access to veterinary doctor services, as the case may be, if there's an outbreak in your farm. And then the app also picks your location. You don't when you're reporting an incident, it picks your location and then reports it alongside to the server. Mm. Then. At the back end, we we'll know where you are, and then we can deploy a, vet, a veterinary to your farm to help you take care of whatever situation you you had in your farm. What about this? Have you guys considered um, speaking to the federal government, relevant federal government ministries? Because it sounds like what the monitoring agencies of federal government would be interested in. So 
So have you guys considered that as an option? Aside taking it for the competition at um, yes, Silicon yes, Valley? Yes, we've actually considered that for an option. And we are making plans to reach out for that. But for mm. now, uh, we haven't done that yet. But it's in part of our plans doing that. You're still on the front lines, coming your one to for some Niger TV. And it's yours truly, Kori Jungun, bringing you this exciting young Nigerians who developed an app called Agrocast. It is something the Federal Ministry of Agriculture should be interested in. It's something every Nigerian should be interested in. As we go on now, moving on, Hanson Johnson, team you formed. Um, I want to believe uh, these are all the members of the team? No. Okay, tell us about that. Um, we, we have the only female in the team, M.M. Brownson. Mm -hmm. She was the one um, in charge of the web service and the, uh, the module that manages the transaction between the Android application. Why didn't you bring server. her? I, I would love to meet a female that could. She had an emergency to attend to, mm. actually business. And um, we are sure in a very short while she's going to be here. Okay. Um, and I pray she, she can be part of this interview. Okay. So tell, tell us about the team formation now. Who, who did what? Because I, I know that in teamwork there will be division of labor and all of that. So. Okay. In that contest, I, will, I was not um, part of the contestant. I was a judge at the regional level. So Gideon was in charge of the Android development. Everything Android. He handled it. Udwak Essien was the man behind our database. Mm. Like the data warehouse. <laughs> so, M. M. Bronson was the person um, designed developing the web service that handled the transaction between the Android application and the database. Because for us to be able to send from an app in a farm or wherever you are to a remote database, you have to cross clouds and so many protocols. Mm. So, she handled the um, HTTP connection that okay. handled that request. Then uh, we have another person that's not here. He's in Calabar. We met him there. And yet, uh, Ruben. Ruben, yeah. So he was the person behind our researches, graphics, and all the data we need while others were developing. Okay. And once in a while, I have to go, hey, guys, go <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that. Uh, while working as a team, did you guys at any point have issues where someone would say, hey, that's my area, that's my jurisdiction, don't cross that line and all of that? Did you have those kind of issues? No, not at all. Yeah. Yeah, and, and because I'm surprised how you would just make a team at, at a competition and knowing fully well that we're all here to compete and then somehow you guys just blend what was that magic like okay i i think i can quickly chip in that um before anything started there was there were a lot um to do introduction mm. so you get up tell us who you are what you do and your skills where you are conversant with so that the people that are here to form teams if i if i'm an android developer and i need a web developer as you are introducing i'm eyeing you already Hi, I said Wenga. You see that? <laughs> <laughs> so even if you, you are not used to buying players, you must buy this guy. <laughs> so while a team that's looking for one other skill is shopping for that skill, that skill too is looking for maybe one or two people. So mm -hmm. once you meet and you agree, you blend. Okay. okay. All right. Let's let's moving on now. The competition is going. Uh, the, the the last part of the competition. Uh, is that something you want to talk about? Okay. The we have been um pronounced second prize winners in Nigeria mm. and we are looking at the biggest Who were the first prize winners? The first prize winners were Team Akasuki At Kazuki At Kazuki yeah. They developed a robot that um, picks stone rock, rock samples, samples in the space and sends send them back to Earth for an, an You have analysis. to be kidding me Yeah How, how was that tried out? They, they actually sent the robot? No, it no, was a prototype no, 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 It, it no, picks no, samples here yeah, okay. in the house <laughs> Not in the space So, so how are we sure if it picks here? He's going to speak at space No, it's not speaking I take a step Okay, we are looking at a bigger stage and one of the bigger stages is the next demo Africa that is going to be Lagos is bidding to host the event Okay So that's a bigger stage that we are believing that if we are allowed to showcase our uh, our products there something good and better is going to come out of there and we are <coughs> we have registered for other competitions and hackathons and events is coming up 28th of um, may in silicon valley so that's in usa yes we'll be having an opportunity to pitch to silicon valley investors so the entire team is going to usa no the entire team is not going unless and you you make something happen why yeah. not <laughs> give us a private jet <laughs> <laughs> okay that, that's that's not something we can do to ask that anyway we we need support to really make 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 make, make it to that trip okay you, you, when, you, when you say you need support what what, what kind of money you we need money we need flight ticket we need what it takes logistics to get there and come back safely we yeah. don't want to run away from nigeria we want to go there and come back and do better things okay yes and okay. i'm sure we are going to come back with some investors okay um let's talk let's talk to you now gideon gideon when you he said so much about the plans and all of that. Let's move on now. Aside the competition, what is the future 
for this group now? Are we looking at a, a, a group of young Nigerians who are going to, you know, synergize to form a company, or is it going to be just after the competition thing here, dis uh, disentangles, and then you guys just go to your normal businesses? Team Gear is here to stay. I will, okay. tell, I will tell you that. Okay. Um, this is just one of the projects we are working on. There are a host of others that we've kept aside for now to face this one. Mm. So after this one, we'll just move on to the next project. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Udwag, Udwag is here. Let's talk about, because he, he mentioned it, but I want us to really look at it now. Support. Do young Nigerians get support on issues like this? Well, uh, uh, I would say the, the government has done uh, a lot for us in terms of infrastructure. That's a whole lot of support. Take, for example, the Ibom E Library. Uh, it has provided a working space and uh, the internet facility for us because internet is really a challenge in, in our state, even in Nigeria or Africa at large. Internet is really a a challenge so the internet facility alone for developers is it's a great support and mm. the good roads and infrastructure for people for investors to come into the state it's a support but we uh, aside from that we need a whole lot more of the support coming and we are looking forward to do support thank you mm, very well so thank you very much gentlemen for coming on the program today hansen johnson thank you we Gideon Ewa, thank you. It's a pleasure. And Udwak Essien, thank you so much for coming on the program. And that wraps it for us on this edition of Frontlines. It came your one 247 Niger TV. Remember always to leave the world better than you made it. My name is Courage Mbun, and I want to join forces. I want to lend my voice to the call by all well-meaning citizens of the world. Let's say no to xenophobia. We are all one African. We are one. We, I mean, we are so the same. The, the forces, the, the things that bind us together, the ties that bind us together, you know, it's just one. We should tolerate. We should learn to live with each other. Until I come your way next week again, please be good. Okay, so um, thank you guys for coming over. Oh my, we're waiting for her. She just showed up. Well, we're done with the program, but it's exciting to have you. Thank you very much for coming. Let us meet you. And this will be the first time I'm meeting a lady who is into hacking and cooking. How did that happen? Yeah, well, I just have passion for it. I feel I should do something. And you, you just started doing it? Yeah. But it's, it's nice meeting you. You hope you have some time to get some time. Some other time you can do Thank you very much. Jet TV.